All right, what's up Foundation Nation? Today we're doing a review of one of my personal favorite discs here, the Dynamic Disc Raider. Uh, I've got kind of a new one here, Infusion Plastic, and I've got one that's been in my bag for quite a while. This one's in hybrid plastic, uh, to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like once it beats in. Um, something to note about Trilogy Plastic that I've kind of found out is that though it does kind of beat in quickly, once it gets to a certain point that it's like beat up, it stays there for a long time. Like this Raider, I've had my bag for like a year and a half, has flown the same way for probably close to a year. So that is something to note about uh, dynamic plastic. We're gonna get a bunch of throws in with these. Uh, the way I'm pretty familiar with the Raider, the way I would describe this disc to people is, it, it starts out kind of like a destroyer with a little less stability. It's a little more friendly to somebody with a little less arm speed, or if you wanna get a little more flip and distance out of the disc. Um, and then it beats into a fantastic hyzer flip disc, hyzer flip to turn kind of disc. That's kind of what I use this one for. Um, but this is genuinely probably like, it's a top three distance driver for me. It's fantastic. So we're gonna throw it a bunch, um, backhands, forehands, and just kind of show you what it does. We're gonna throw out the new one here first. See what it does. Yeah, so you can see a brand new one thrown with a little bit of Anheuser. Uh, it is gonna turn a little bit more than like a new Star Destroyer would, but it still has a bit of reliable fade. Um, this one though, as you'll see, is gonna, be, I'll try and give it like a similar height um, and you kind of see a little more under stability because it's been worked in. That one rides a little bit to the right. I honestly gave that one a little more hyzer, so it flew kind of similar, but you'll see once we throw them a little harder that that one will flip over much easier. Okay, we're gonna take this brand new Fusion Raider, we're gonna pump it out there on some hyzer, see what it does there, and then I'll throw the beta in one, hopefully on about the same mount and same power. This, this should give us a good idea of what they do. Yeah, that's perfect. So that one is not gonna flip on that much end goal. No. You can see it, it fought it a little bit, but it had no intention of coming up out of it like it just kind of rode it what i when i was had the raider in my bag because i messed with it in and out one of the things i loved it for was about a week or so from now playing with that disc is with my power i'm able to get like long pushing hyzers where i throw it like that and it might this one might do it where it comes up but it doesn't come out so like a full hyzer flip will get you to flat and maybe turn but if you can find the right disc you can throw it like that and it'll just ride that same angle and fight it the whole way, which gives you a really long straight flight that slowly goes left. It's a beautiful flight. We'll see if this one does it. But it should flip a little more regardless. Yeah, this one definitely should. Oh yeah. There you go. So that's what a more seasoned Raider does right there. Flips up the flat. Yeah, so that was close to the flight I was talking about. That one's a little bit more seasoned, but you can see it goes up to flat. So if I throw that a little less hyzer, that's a great like max distance disc where you throw it a little less hyzer and get a full flex out of it. But what I love about the Raider is it starts as a controllably overstable distance driver. So in my experience, they're always a hair less stable than like your destroyers, enforcers, discs like that to where for my arm speed, I find that way more controllable. And then it's quick to get it to be just like a crusher disc like my Big Z Zeus fills that slot on my back now. Um, so that's kind of my experience with, with the Raider. Yeah, that one, so I even threw that beat in one is pretty forgiving at this point. Like I even threw that a little nose up and kind of not with a ton of Anheuser high and it still has a nice forgiving pan. Like that disc, once you beat in the Raider, typically it's a disc that like you can rely on to get right initially. And that one did come back at the end a little bit cause I did have it a little bit nose up. Um, but if you throw it hard enough, once they're beat in, they are gonna turn a little bit right. And they're very reliable for that. Like the Raider's a disc that I love to throw for shots where I swing it out wide and just throw it flat and really hard. And I know it's gonna pan right. Um, so if there's like OB on the left, like you can know you're gonna stay away from it. But yeah, you can get a lot of distance out of them. They're, they fly far. I'm gonna throw the new one now high with some ante, kind of let it pan, um, see how it fights out of it. Yeah, as you can see, a new Raider will typically, if you get the angle right on the high ante like that, it'll just have a nice pan out. Um, it's not fighting out, like it's not 
like a super overstable driver, like we've mentioned, it is gonna wanna glide out, which makes it great for like a brand new radar, radar on that line. Like you can get some insane distance lines because it will want to pan before fading out. It kind of just like falls out at the end rather than just like biting out of the line. Um, but yeah, they just, they kind of just like to stay in the air. A lot of times Raiders too, like they're a disc that very consistently has a really good dome to them. Like I've never really gotten a Raider and be like, oh, this one is super flat or oh, the dome on this one's too much. It, it's a very consistent disc, which like a lot of times you get that with dynamic. Um, and so that's another nice thing about them is because they have that nice dome, they do get a good bit of glide. Um, I'm gonna throw, I'm gonna throw this, now I've thrown both of them on the Anheuser line. I'm just gonna pump this beat up one on a roller because this is like my main roller disc or one of them. Just kind of show you some of the more versatility of this disc. Um, at this stage of wear, this is a disc that you'd wanna throw for something where you gotta throw it on Anheuser. It's not like it's that beat in where I can throw it flat and let it roll. You gotta give it some Anheuser and it's probably gonna work quite a bit left before falling over, but they can go very far on roller lines. Perfect. So as you can see, it's gonna push left. I don't know if the tailwind will let this one flip. That one just kind of went like a long right to left roller. But beat-in Raiders have that kind of stability to where if I didn't have a little tailwind right there, you'd get eventually it would fold over and you can get some really good distance rollers out of them. Um, just to sh kind of show you how versatile that disc is because that disc I've only had for like a year and a half and I, right now I can throw pushing hyzers if there's a little tailwind and I throw with a lot of hyzer, I can throw hyzer flips to flat, I can throw hyzer flips to turnovers, big turnovers and even rollers. Like it probably, it's probably one of the most versatile distance drivers there is. Um, and I legitimately throw all of those shots I just mentioned with that disc. Like it's not, I'm not just saying you could, I actually throw them in tournaments. Um, so yeah, just to show you how versatile it is. So the last thing I wanna showcase with this disc is the forehand. Um, I actually think that this is like one of the major strengths of the Raider, particularly for my game, um, because, it, it, because it isn't quite as overstable as like your destroyers, for example. Um, I don't generate as much speed on a forehand as I do on a backhand. I know some people are the opposite, but that's how it is for me. So the Raider is like, really my go-to forehand disc. It's something I can throw out flat and actually get a good bit of carry before fading. Um, and it's, for me, it's probably the most comfortable distance driver forehand grip for me that I've, I've ever had. And that's one of the reasons I really like it is because this is a very comfortable disc for me. Um, so I'm gonna rip both of them out. Should be able to throw them both flat and, and just see what they do. It's been a while since I'm gonna throw in a new Raider. Yeah, so as you can see, like I get a pretty good overstable flight out of a new Raider, but I actually get a little bit of push forward where like if I was throwing a, some other overstable disc, even if it's in the dynamic lineup, like an enforcer, like I'm not gonna get that much push. This one, if I throw a similar line, I should get even a little bit of turn. Yeah, as you can see, that one kind of turns over before trying to come out at the end a little bit. So because the Raider has a little bit more forgiveness for somebody like me who doesn't have a crush forehand. It allows me to get like a somewhat stable forehand that actually goes somewhere and doesn't just dump out immediately on me, um, which is why, you know, typically, unless I have a, a destroyer that is really beat up, like the Raider is my go-to forehand disc and has been for a while um, because, you know, like I mentioned, I need it because of my lower arm speed with the forehand. So final opinions on the Raider. I'm sure you could tell from the review that I'm a huge fan of this disc. There's a reason that Probably my favorite disc in my bag is this one that is a Raider. Um, just for context, so like my arm speed, I would say backhand, I've got like 410, 415 feet of like golf distance, as people would say, like shots I'm capable of throwing like on a course on golf lines. Um, so just to give you some reference there. Um, and that's why for my, that arm, kind of arm speed, I think the Raider is a perfect slot it's not my most overstable distance driver like i'm not going to cycle this into an overstable slot i'm going to cycle it to my maybe start it at like slightly overstable to kind of straight and then all the way down into like significantly understable um that's kind of where it fits it's like a it's like a middle of your distance driver kind of disc it's not going to be your flippiest disc probably unless you beat it up a ton it's not going to be your most overstable it sits in the middle I think if you have a little bit of lower arm speed than I do, if you kind of sit below there, then you could see it kind of push into like a 
like a destroyer before you get to that kind of arm speed or a force before you get to that kind of arm speed. Um, it can kind of be like a, a disc to kind of start with where it, you will have a similar feel even and a, a bit of overstability, but you won't be flipping it up as much as somebody who throws faster can. If you throw harder than me, the Raider is probably right out of the box going to be a hyzer flip to turn disc potentially. Um, and it's great at that. Like that is why this one's in my bag. I use it for that slot. That's where I get the versatility. So I think this disc fits a lot of people's game. I think it's very underrated. I don't think a lot of people try out this disc and I'm, I'm it's genuinely a top five disc of mine, just overall. Like I really think that more people need to try this disc out. I would recommend it in the Fusion Plastic um, or the Hybrid Plastic if you're able to find it. Um, I also know that now it's in Lucid Ice, which is a cool plastic. So there, there is a lot of different things to try out, um, but the Fusion is the one I have the most experience with, I'll say. Um, I think in the Lucid Ice, you, if you want a radio that has a little more overstability, I think that's typically the first place to look. Um, but we do have these in stock, foundationdisc.com. And also, if you go ahead and share this video in your social media on Facebook, Instagram, and you tag us, we are gonna be picking somebody to give a Raider away to. So make sure to do that and uh, check out the Raider. It's a great disc. We'll see you in the next one.